currently 30 percent we're going to bring it up to what's up youtube um, the goal we got the patch notes a lot of healer kind of the first one um, rather than nerfing is the brawling buff because we think down, i um, overall the hate um, so this should be a this brawling buff from the character we're seeing uh, i think it should just be an anti-heal buff to how much you're healing your teammates because um, uh, it feels worse well characters that are being for gods right now to that are looking to lifesteal off something and i i don't like that yeah. Yeah. always feels weird getting out of a fight and you turn around and you're like why do they, why do they all have their health so uh next up looks like lotus crown is getting a nerf. also dandy uh, was a great uh, addition to run this 15 prots we could like we said we, could, we didn't want to hit the base stats themselves we're making it a little bit less efficient with the passive protections that it provides yeah and then there's another item as well coming up too i that looks like divine ruin also there's a buff there. i think uh, that's what's i would have preferred so them to nerf the just mm -hmm. prots to yourself uh, and not so the prots to the allies magical power this is probably the anti-heal item that feels the least good to build right now Broadway that is a nice really buff 110 power uh, puts its power we evenly with deso and magus uh, so now you're just paying for passives so deso is a cooldown passive divine is an anti-heal passive and magus is an additional damage to one person passive i hate this man just keep it nerfed why does it need extra heal just keep it should have just i don't know should have just been that warrior's axe is still like a instead of 70 it's 50 but it's only an eight second cooldown it's just too much of a, a health swing it, it, like the other items yeah, just feel yeah, so much worse to build because the health swing on this item is too good uh, it looks like sundering axe also getting a nerf to some cooldown stuff thank yeah, you similar, uh, i pointed that out that this is the weirdest uh, this is the most item in the well, entire axe tree because hero's axe is eight seconds you know, warrior's axe is eight seconds but sundering axe was seven seconds well, nice little nerf overall to it though wind demon also getting some uh some changes what's going on there Ooh. so no longer will windy wind demon just be like the best attack speed item to build it gave power, attack speed, crit chance, penetration, movement speed. It literally gave you anything you would want as an auto attack god. Cool, cool. Well, that does it for items. That's a good nerf uh, to it. I still don't think it's enough. I still think the item's going to be built. God, starting with Bastet, I know she just got some changes. So, just be a damage uh, nerf to her ult, probably. I don't like that nerf. I just don't like the nerf to the lifesteal. I just think it's not the right spot to nerf her because I think the lifesteal just kind of, that's her. It should just be the damage, I think. That ult damage is kind of just insane. Especially because like you can target them as they're getting brought back that entire way. And if they don't have beads, they're taking damage that entire time. Okay, so they did just nerf. Okay, good. Also, why was the cooldown 80 seconds? Why? Why is that that current ult? Why was that 80 seconds while other ults are 90 seconds as the base? It didn't make sense. Decent nerf to Basta. I don't know how she's good. She's gonna be in comp. I think the cooldown of her kit, of her ult, is the problem. It, it's pretty easy unless you're not paying attention like at all to juke it. So I, I don't think that's the problem. I think it's her objective damage with her ult is insane. Yeah, you literally could just like, walk up to an I'll objective, alt it with both yeah. alts, uh, and like you could probably half health it yourself. Good nerf. Menace, his uh, out there two really in the late game hits you for like 800 damage very well. he literally could just so walk up and try to poke you and there's nothing you can do about it because he has his jump and he has his ult a nice places. little nerf on his ult also i mean it drops his damage in the late game from 30 percent to or i mean it drops it by 30 percent dude this god still op he is still op isn't that not crazy the biggest problem with this ability is it's damage it's a shield and it's a cc as well as three things for that uh, one ability is uh, insane it doesn't, it doesn't the um so what's his other stance mink is just uh, attack speed and damage all that stuff that's all it is awesome. this one's cc or attacks or cc damage like and a shield I, do turtle, so I just don't think you ever really uh, use uh, mink unless you just need the attack speed in a 1v1 and even then i think the turtle damage is just better so that's our two very annoying that ability is very very annoying i think nike's problem right now is her base damage i don't think it's her tankiness or her ability to like like that that is a unique part of her kit the problem i think is her her base damage she's got like 1000 actual base damage and on top of like mystical mail sundering axe she basically can solo squishies and take no damage because of the shield on her ult i also like that change that slow in the late game feels like you're just dead if you get hit by it and you don't have beads or cc immunity that's her two the problem is that she will just never be a support god um, so that she can't because if she's decent off, she can't she'll just be a solo laner and there's no reason to play her in support and if she's so bad that she can't play solo she's going to be absolutely terrible in support the problem with morgan stealth she is just a character that does too much compared to other assassins that go invis and she can just cover too much space and get to a spot and just and then just one shot somebody if she does commit her abilities she still has her ult for safety like loki for the most part he doesn't kill you unless he ults and if he ults then he's probably trading one for one Alquang, same thing. He 
Well, that basically has to fully commit, uh, and if you beads his ult, he's basically just stuck right there with no safety. I think the problem just comes with Morgan doesn't even need to use any safety. She doesn't need a blink to get onto you because she can just invis to you and then just ult for safety. So, ooh, skins. All right, we do skins on a scale of one to ten. Ten means they're a good idea and they look good. One is a bad idea and they look bad. I'm not a big fan of this skin line. I think it's like pretty average. And I, it's the not like balance of this dimension is crumbling. The infinite must intervene. And, and it's not like this skin is anything course. special. It's like a four, maybe a five. However, the voice pack is decent yeah. though. Ooh. Okay, this one looks better. Really? Yeah, that's that a, that's so a much better crazy. skin. I love the, I love the idea like the is like a ten, and then I think it comes out like an eight. Yeah, I, I think this skin's about an eight. I think it's probably one of her better skins. The skull wings do look sick. She's also wearing high heels on the battlefield, like props. This battlefield is perfect. It reeks of carnage, blood, and despair. Maybe it's a seven. Sometimes the voice packs ruin skins. And I don't like that voice pack. Oh. Okay, this one might be sick. Ooh, Crimson Knight. This is probably the best skin for the patch so far. The idea 10, and it, it looks good. Not necessarily unreal. He's a simp. Yeah, yeah, probably like a nine. Probably the best skin so far. Shield Guardian Kabraken. Let's see what's going on with Shield Guardian. Ooh, Kabraken needs a good skin. Oh, this is the Arthur one. That's awesome. It looks like that one Arthur skin. I love it. Okay, I want to see what it looks like in game. Oh, look at them. Why does he look so freaking large? Eh. Six. Idea is kind of whatever. It looks. It just looks exactly like the Arthur skin, other than like the two shields, which are. Let us teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. The voice back was kind of good. Maybe, maybe it's maybe it's a six or seven because of the skin. I mean the voice. Oh, wait, was that the bonus? Oh, that was bonus. Okay, that's a good bonus patch. That's a really good bonus patch. I thought that was a full blown patch, but that's just bonus. That's great. That is a great patch. So this is the this is worlds. It's the sixth to the ninth. The tailgate starts at eight a.m. Oh, the slash slash is five forty-five. If you guys like those transformer skins. The gems are on sale now. You could use my uh, my link. I don't know if Mario can throw it somewhere, but I have a link. I'll throw it in the description below too. Are you guys big on masteries? I feel like I just don't care about masteries. Some people are like, I need the stars. I literally have no care in the world for a star or like mastery ten. Yep. So that is starting December eleventh. Yep. You will be able December eleventh, boys. I'm pretty sure you can get like Archon and Poolside for the big donos, and it goes to a good cost. Actually, a six skin. That skin is actually sick. That's one of the few skins where I'm like. I very, very, very much want that skin. Eh, don't care for that skin very much. All right, patch notes. Uh, so now we're moving on to some 812 stuff. Nice. Uh, but from there, we're moving to some map changes. So, Ooh. Arena, still going to be here. Uh, make sure you okay. all get in and get in those. That is conquest map changes. But the uh, winter yeah. map is going to be uh, all SWC'd up. They no way. Finally? Oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Finally. On uh, both the map and the SWC. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> Yo, I should have checked one of the bots. Yeah, super excited. But that is finally, dude. Earlier, right? you said that Pro players have been asking SWC for them to add that stuff into the game for so long. Because and they had it, I think, in, like, season three. Like, and then maybe, like, season four yeah. or something. And then they just got rid of it for a few seasons. Uh, and so I don't yeah. know why. Elon Earth. Hell removed from the game. Oh, and we get Atlas. Mages in the mid lane have not been seeing as much play as you know we might have expected yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we did a lot of changes with warriors and what are they you trolling expected. they're literally giving power to every class and they're not adding tankiness to the game give me some tank buffs man okay actually i am fine with these changes if they buff tanks also so supports mostly not solo laners buff support starters yeah, and when they're finished well, i guess we'll roll forward we have the spell or the spell focus tier two and obsidian shard the tier three getting changes so are they yeah. getting buffs Some more power there just to help round them out and i think the other thing to note here is that but we want to try and just infuse power where we're not i'm mean, okay so so far it's not like right massive sure changes i was expecting like rod to be like to 200 group, power do more of 190 yeah, power really chronos pendant 130 right. power i was yes. expecting like some bigger changes uh, so, so they buff book of the dead as we want to address yeah. maybe we went a little bit too far with some of their buffs just keep it at 25 percent quite a lot and we're going to just be toning it down a little 25 bit. perfect 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 honestly i'm fine with this i was worried when they right said the we're going to be buffing mages so we're going to be bringing the oh we were getting some massive buffs but so far this is just like 
basically it's quality of life changes because mages are probably the worst class on the uh on the field unless they're a healer then they're the best in the entire game i don't think it changes anything this is probably the worst starter in the game and i don't think five hv5 and five mp5 is going to help it the problem is it's, it's i think 10 physical power and 10 attack speed if you want to win the early game you're building mannequin you're not building eye of the jungle oh oh he didn't buff tanks and by tanks i want supports buff getting a nerf to her crushing earth ability now i heard this is kind of okay is this the mechanic when we readdress Terra being able to refire uh, sh Crushing Earth. Yeah. It kind of brought a, this this new case mm. scenario where she was able to actually uh, dash through them to hit the Shatter uh, for extra damage uh, while refiring. Well, it just yep. became something that once you got used to utilizing, kind of yep. made Terra a little bit oppressive. Yep. So we were deciding You're to spitting right now, clumsy. No trigger the extra bonus damage uh, while refiring the Crushing Earth. Perfect. Like Honestly, perfect. Proc, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is being utilized. Uh, uh, Terra was OP. She was one of the top supports scale, before this change. Yeah. And then this change probably made it the best support in the game by a, a, a wide margin because her early game was other situations tara is a almost to some players felt a little bit like a bad bug. laning or um, she should be a bad laning phase god forward, um, who goes and scales very very well into the late game of course yeah I the problem is that she dogs, with so this was, change that was, that was she was thing. better uh, than Bologna, almost every support yep going on in the landing phase really and um, she still scaled is, op 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 very well to the light game uh, to help so. that, like death toll. Yeah. Kind of honestly to buff bologna every single really ability because really she is probably the worst out, warrior so literally every god interrupts bludgeon uh, i think so they should increase her base attack speed a little bit also so i also think the problem with her is she is completely and utterly reliant on death toll and death toll in the meta is also not very good so, in, in solo lane, it's very good, good in ADC. Uh, Ganesha also getting a buff to a uh, ohm. Yes! Yes! Okay. There's a lot more I mean, very fair. It, it's good. a small uh, change, and I don't think it makes Ganesha makes any better buff, uh, for the most part. That's a not a bad buff. Go, That's know, a nice really little buff. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a good buff. The problem with Vomana now is. Cool. He's an entirely uh, reliant yeah. on his ult, getting a buff. That's true. and he just gets onked every fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you ever play against yeah, Vamana, so no matter how big, uh, he, how big he gets, in the late game, he kind of just gets onked and he just kind of dies. I don't like the buff to this item. And that that acorn is already sick. That acorn is already sick. I think the green acorn is a fine buff, though. But I don't like the buff to the thick bark. Rat acorn is just not that great of a power spike compared to Jotun's and compared to... I mean, it's mostly just Jotun's. This is the crit one? acorn. <laughs> that is the uh, acorn blast one. I like this one. And we're going to be buffing the one that is underperforming the most, even though it is the most popular. Uh, the bristle bush acorn. The crit that one. Is the crit one with the dash. Yeah. We're going to be buffing that more than the other. So all the I like the buff to that one. He, that it's acorn is so much fun. Out. I don't Bristle even think they should have buffed this acorn. Cool. I, I don't well, think yeah, they needed to nerf that one, but it's fine power, more, so who cares? Uh, uh, Mercury up next. Made you look getting some edits. Uh, some power? Yeah, it's a or damage, I mean. Of life for Ooh. Yeah, like, it, it kind of makes sense. And a lot of gods have these abilities that are, you know, just deployable circles that you're going to fire on the other side of That's a nice buff. That is kind of a good buff, because when you're playing against Mercury, they kind of just run around walls, and you, like, try to chase them, and you have no abilities that can hit them. No, you can. Actually, nice buff. I like that. I like that. a bit more. So that's the extent of it kind of felt like it, you couldn't really set them up. Yeah, that's overall just a good buff. Sure that it's not massive, more, but it's a nice uh, buff. So many things going on with Jingwei. That is, that's a whole list. I'm always uh, nervous of Jingwei right buffs. In. Oh, I'm not excited. To so say you crit for 600, it'll now be 660. So it's like, and then for persistent gust and airstrike, it's really decreased across the board. Just a, a nice little buff. That buff's kind of whatever. It's not like Jingwei's mana dependent. It is crazy. Her ult was 100 mana, and that thing was. Not Ooh, good. Cool. Acid spray and lacerate both getting changed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, lacerate hits minions. Really oh, um, makes her anti heal hunter. It was one of those abilities that feels very aggressive to use when you oh, dash yeah. through a wave the first time. Mm -hmm. You expect it to hit and it just doesn't, and then it stops on gods. We're gonna actually make it so now when you actually dash through the wave, it's gonna damage the wave. You can use it as a. Yeah. I've literally, tool, especially if you're just trying to. Get, uh, I, I, okay, I played Medusa a good amount, and I've been asking for lacerate to do damage. I will literally just dash through the minions just because I want it to do damage so bad, so I'll just dash it. Currently, it's on lacerate. It's on that single target, which makes it really hard to use aggressively. Oh, they. You commit your dash to be more aggressive with it. Yeah. Um, and it means that you can only affect one uh, target. So that's going to be removed from last rate and actually added to acid spray. Okay. So acid okay. spray will now apply on initial hit as well as the spray. It's definitely going to be strange. Uh, it's going to be strange.
strange to feel that, but I like it. So I like it. I mean, it is a buff, yeah, instead of just choosing but it feels one, more like quality of life because it feels like the three should always awesome. have done damage that to minions. Does it for, and then her uh, the two for eight, 12. So that is kind of feels like it should be the anti-heal option. And now this is what we're all here for. Atlas. I mean, I always read patch notes then like watch it because I like absorbing the content and reading it because I feel like I can just go through it a little bit quicker and I don't have to kind of wait for them. But when you watch a god release, yeah. comparatively to reading the god's abilities it, it it just feels better to be able to see him do stuff and see everything performed than just reading what it does also pretty sick skin yeah. by her pele it's probably right, one of the better skins in the patch uh, that's probably a 10 no troll that's probably a 10. hunt begins for the unwelcome yeah no that's, that's probably a 10. that's just overall a clean skin and i don't like many of our other skins so i like that skin oh. that Medusa? Cool. Was that op wash? There's so much snake. Was that bows or like Oh, that is Medusa. Yeah. That looks so cool. Eh. I love how like wide like It's a cool from, take like, on Medusa. But I just is. don't it love it. it. So I mean it's fine. Cool. It's it, it, it's it's a fine like, skin. Took, like, a, I'll a probably use it. Character. Seven maybe. <laughs> really good idea. I don't think it looks <laughs> that unreal. So I'll say seven. The voice Land or sea. Our foes will drown before our might. Mediocre. Mediocre voice. So seven. I'll I'll keep it at a seven. I hope you guys enjoyed the patch notes. Overall, just like a pretty solid patch. Uh, a couple of just good changes needed overall. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful rest of your night.